Hey everybody, this is Scott. Earlier in the week, I'd put together a post over at skillcasting.com and it used a couple of advanced techniques in ScreenFlow. And I thought a lot of the people over at Mac Screencasting would find that interesting. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm really using ScreenFlow more as a, as a video editor these days. And I gotta tell you, I really like the whole timeline aspect where I can stack things on top of one another, be it PNG files or really multiple video files. And it's easier to work with than iMovie. And the other thing is, is that as great as Final Cut is and Final Cut Express, I gotta tell you, I can't stand the rendering time. So ScreenFlow is making this so much easier. And since I incorporated these two advanced techniques, let me go ahead and share them with you on, on how I did it. The first advanced feature was a multi-camera technique. In fact, that's what I'm using right now. As much as I can talk to my primary camera here, I can also bring up and speak to the webcam on my iMac. So this makes it great because it's very easy for me to go back and forth between cameras. Now, my primary camera is the Kodak ZI8. And I really do like this because it allows me to very easily bring in MOV files. And the great thing about ScreenFlow is that I'm able to bring in different video file types. So I've brought in MP4s, I've brought in AVIs, and it makes it very easy to edit and mix all of them together right within ScreenFlow. So that's a huge help. Now, let me share with you uh, how this sort of works. So this is an older Kodak camera. I'm shooting one right there. That's the ZI8 I'm talking to right now. Let me show you how this works because it's very easy for me to bring in video into ScreenFlow. And when I connect my camera, you're going to see on my desktop, I get, let me cancel that, I get the directory file of all the videos that happen to be on my camera. And from here, it's very easy to import these into my ScreenFlow movie. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring this video into ScreenFlow. And the way that I do that is I come right back here I go back to my finder and I can literally drag and drop the video right into my screen flow presentation. Now, if I wanted to import it, I could do that. I could move it to my desktop, all sorts of different ways to get it in there. But that's the key is that that's how easy it is to bring in different videos into screen flow. Now, once I have it into screen flow, what I want to do is I can just move this right to my timeline. And there we go. Now, what I really like about using a multi-camera technique is that I can go in and out of between the different cameras. So the way that I do that is, is I could very easily take this second one, add a command. Let's do the video command. Let's drop the opacity down. Now you can't see it because this video is over it, but then if I wanted to, I could talk a little bit, add a video command here, and change the opacity there. So it allows me to go back and forth between cameras. And I find that to be very powerful. So as much as I talk to this camera here, now I'm able to talk to this camera here. So I can go back and forth. And, and the way that you just change it is that you could easily change your size in a screen flow. You know, change your video size here. Maybe you wanted to, to show that webcam. And, and then you can begin to mix and match your different video sources. So it's a great way to, to bring in multiple cameras. But I gotta tell you, there's a second piece to this whole puzzle, and that is you have to be able to sync the audio. 
So let me show you how that works. In this piece here, let's go back to this. What I like to do is I like to be able to talk to the prime. And that was it right there. The key is doing the old clapboard. And this creates a visual indicator so you know how to align up your different, aud your different video pieces. And all I have to do now is sync up my audio and then you'll see the video becomes in sync, gets in sync. So what I like to do is I like to turn off snapping. Turn off snapping so it's easier to move the different uh, video tracks. So snapping is off. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see right here, this is my, my clap. What I like to do is I like to be able to talk to the prime. And you can see it might be a tad off and I can move everything around. What, and so what you want to do is you want to sync it. So here, here we go. That looks about right. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Ah, there we go. I can tell it's a little off. Oops. That looks about right. Now let's play it back and let's see if these two videos are in sync. I'll make it a little bit bigger. What I like to do is I like to be able to talk to the primary camera, but also be able to talk to the secondary camera. And there you go. You can see that it's definitely much more in sync now. Now the second piece that you have to do is that you have to turn the audio off of the secondary camera because what I'm doing is I'm using one microphone and the reason that I use one microphone is that within ScreenFlow I'm actually recording this with the Samsung C03U and it's a good desktop mic now the audio in any type of Kodak or flip camera that you might be talking to now typically won't be as good as a desktop USB mic so this is a great way to make sure that you're getting good audio. And once that's in sync, and I turn the audio off on this one, now the audio comes through right off the microphone. What I like to do is I like to be able to talk to the primary camera, but also be able to talk to the secondary camera. And the way that you sync the audio is with an old And so now you can see, I might uh, come here, drop the ducking here, not the ducking, the opacity, come back here, increase the opacity. Fashion Hollywood technique. And that's the clapboard. Make that audio snap and it's very easy to spot where to sync your video tracks. And there you go. So in conclusion, incorporating multiple cameras and syncing the audio is a great way to make your videos, your screencasts more engaging. I like to use a better camera because People get to see my eyes, my smile, my personality. I get to be a little bit more animated. I get to use the rule of thirds and, and, and really incorporate better composition techniques because quite honestly, I find the webcam camera to be kind of flat and it, it doesn't have the same oomph. And I also get, you can already see the different colors and the lighting and all that. So when I incorporate a secondary camera, I think it, we're getting much better results. And at the end of the day, I think it's a much better, more effective communication. So with that, I hope you got something out of today's little quick tip, my little presentation on using multiple cameras. So in the meantime, thanks for stopping by. Oh, and I encourage you, if you haven't done so already, in the side, go ahead and download the free white paper. I think you'll get a lot of really good ideas on how to improve your screencasts. And I'd love to have you on my email list over here at Mac Screencasting too. So make sure you sign up for that.
Hey, in the meantime, hope you got a lot of it, a lot out of today's presentation. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.